We're here today to, to stand for England, our culture and what I love in life. We had our Brexit rally today. We thought we'd be leaving in just a few hours' time, but the people down in, the MPs down in Parliament actually stopped that. We might be leaving on the 12th of April. You can feel the anger in the air. It's palpable. The people are angry. They had their say nearly three years ago, and they know that there's a Remain government, there's a Remain opposition, and there's the Remain Lords at the same time. How do we, how do we take back control? We do it at the ballot box, we do it at the local elections and we have to take back control because it's we the people that decide, we the people put the MPs in Parliament and we the people will unseat those MPs in Parliament and unseat Mrs May, it's the only way forward. Why are you here today? I'm here to support Brexit um, and to expose the government for how corrupt they are and how they're treating us with contempt and to support Tommy Robinson. I'm here to do to know what the outcome or the, the waiting time is. It's been a waiting time for everybody, making us very anxious. We don't know where we're going. We don't know what is going to happen to jobs. We don't know what is going to happen to other people. And with that, seeing everybody around, making sure that Brexit is Brexit. This British government is absolutely disgusting. They're traitorous, they're duplicitous, they're divisive, and they're against the British people. I'm just here to stand with my partner, and I feel exactly the same way. I feel that the EU is a complete betrayal of democracy, and just, I just think that we don't, we, we shouldn't ever have gone in the EU in the first place. I think Theresa May is a traitor and I think that um, the only way we can take this back, we're on, the, we're on the brink of taking it back now, but I think the British people have absolutely stabbed in the back and, and actually um, denied democracy. We are disgusted over where these traitors, the House of Remain, how dare they go against the people's votes? Why are you here today? I'm here because Parliament are a bunch of traitors at the moment, unfortunately. I wish that Parliament was flooded with UKIP MPs, that would be brilliant. We need to get behind UKIP, get behind a mass movement to get MPs elected to put the electoral pressure on the establishment to make sure that we leave. Because, you know, if the people, if Brexiteers don't rally behind one true Brexit party and the Tories, you know, they'll say that they're pro-Brexit, uh, two days before the election, and as soon as the election's over, you know, they go back to Brexit betrayal. UKIP's the only true, true Brexit party. We, every genuine Brexiteer needs to get behind UKIP, vote, UKIP, vote in UKIP MEP, um, MEPs, MPs, uh, regional assembly members, councillors, because that applies electoral pressure and that makes uh, true Brexit more likely. You've got Ireland, France and Holland. You reckon they're following us afterwards? Well, I hope not, but uh, it, it, it seems to be going that way. I said we, we, there was another country we ought to add to that was um, Denmark, I believe, who voted first time to leave, but uh, the establishment didn't accept the result and required them with some balm twisting and uh, yeah, maybe some... Uh, and making them support. vote again? Because that's exactly what they want so, us yeah. to do as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When 17.4 million pressures, people voted, put pressures on us. Yeah. yeah. And if the if the percentages have been exactly the same but reverse, and Ramona's have got 52 percent, there would absolutely not be the media, BBC, who I used to work for, by the way, they wouldn't be calling for a second. There'd vote. be no absolutely. discussion. Absolutely. It wouldn't be across the airway. It, it's obvious to everyone that they are taking a piss. It's two years and they can't come to a conclusion. It's bollocks. They're trying to ride it out. Why keep Theresa May, who is a, a valid Remainer, in to do a job that Nigel Farage should really be doing, really? Because he is, he is Mr Brexit. I love Tommy. I know Nigel f***ed up. He f***ed up big time by saying... Sorry, I shouldn't swear, should I? He messed up. He messed up big time by calling the likes of us people here today thugs, skinheads, racists, Nazis. It's bullshit. We're here today to, to stand for England, our culture and what I love in life. The rug's been pulled from under our feet. We've been let down, we've been betrayed. 
we've all been betrayed, the public and the military. I actually am stood here today to, to make sure people understand that, that veterans, for whom I speak on behalf of, are also not happy. Really not happy. This isn't what we made sacrifices for. I'm one of the lucky ones. I'm back here. I can stand here and, 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 and shout and argue and demonstrate and what have you. But I shouldn't have never had to do that. That, that was never in the script. That was not, our sign, not what I signed up for. I signed up for getting democracy. And I genuinely feel that Theresa May and the whole bunch of them are, are, are just betraying us, betraying the people. And it, it's, it's made me realise everything I did actually was for the people more than the government. The country is the people, the country isn't the government. Let's not ever lose sight of that. I don't know how we're going to fix it, but we've got to, got to fix it. And what really concerns me is, whatever tour I've done before, whatever fight I've been in, this is a bigger fight. I understand you're, far, you're a far-right extremist because you're here holding a UKIP flag and draped in our National Union flag. Would you like to comment on that, madam? I'm definitely not far right and I'm not a Nazi or an extremist, but I believe in democracy and I voted to leave mainly because of the fishermen who have been robbed of their birthright and that to me is appalling. And I've watched the country go downhill. I knew it before it joined the EU. Did you vote in that referendum? And I did. I did, and we were lied to. We voted to join a common market. And at the time, I was a Welsh hill farmer, and we were told that it was going to be good for us to join a common market. So we voted for it. We had no idea what it was going to turn into. Why have you brought a coffin along today? Oh, my friend Rosie actually made it, but we've taken it from Bermondsey all the way to the green and um, basically all the way we was going bring out your dead because the way it's going democracy is dead so we have a coffin and Theresa May is out to kill democracy well, what a fantastic day today the thousands and thousands that turned out for a Brexit day we had our party even if we didn't officially leave today we have left we've left in our minds we've left in our hearts we are taking back control of our borders and our sovereignty and I really thank the great British people for coming out today. It's been a ball. This is Janice Atkinson for Rebel.media. No matter what happens with Brexit, I'll still be bringing you reports from across Europe and the UK. And we'll be telling the truth about what's happening out there. So please subscribe to Rebel.media to never miss another story. Hit that little bell and subscribe today. Thank you very much.